So today we have another product by a company called Azul Tech. We've actually looked at one of their products before and I was really quite impressed. It was a mini PC stick and running Windows 10. Normally these PC sticks aren't that impressive, but that one, it was decent and it done a pretty darn good job. It wasn't amazing, it wasn't an amazing computer or anything like that, but just its form factor and and just, just the effort that went into actually making it and making it work properly was pretty darn good. So Azure Tech have sent me another one and they've sent me this one called the Byte Free. It's a brand new mini PC box that they've um, developed uh, just over the last couple of months and they sent me it to review. So we're going to unbox it, we're going to have a look at it and see how well this performs. I think the system is very much similar to the actual stick but obviously it's in a much bigger form factor aimed at you guys maybe wanting something to outperform maybe a standard Android TV box, something that will just perform so much better in terms of gameplay, simple games, Kodi, YouTube, and you know, just generally having a mini PC to attach to your TV. So we've looked at a couple of these types of devices before, but Azure Tech just seems to be that little bit better in terms of this, the build quality and so on. Anyway, let's take a look at this Byte Free. So straight away, the actual packaging is first class. It's really nicely presented, and we've got this really nice solid foam packing as well. So wherever you are in the world, if you decide to order something like this, then it's going to arrive to you in one piece, and those links will be in the description below. So when we first receive it, we can open it up, and here is the Byte Free. Now we'll take a look a bit further into this in a, in a little while, and uh, yeah, let's get that out there. And you receive as well as that a power supply, a remote control, and a few different bits and bobs just to connect it. Maybe screw it into your TV, etc. Uh, it's certainly got a Visa mount connection on the back if you want to actually mount it on the back of your TV. But yeah, that is the unboxing. Really nice packaging, and so far so good. This is going to be a good product, I think. So let's take a look at the actual device itself. Now on the front here, it's actually quite a nice and uh, simple design actually, I quite like it. It's very modern looking and yeah, so we've got the actual on button on the front and yeah, I really like that design, I'm quite impressed by it. As well as that, we've got on the side, we've got a full size SD card tray, I really like that because I do hate those fiddly micro SD card trays. Uh, yeah, so full size SD card tray on the side there got two USB ports, one of which being the USB 3.0 and the other one being 2.0. On the back here we've got quite a good range of connectivity, a lot more than a lot of the other TV boxes that run Windows 10. We've got a headphone jack 3.5mm, we've got two USB 3.0 ports, we've got an Ethernet port, HDMI, VGA, so we've got the potential to actually hook up two monitors to this. We've got the power input, as well as that we've got Type-C, which is great to see on this, as well as that we've got the Wi-Fi antenna, and we've had this apart already, and it's an Intel Wi-Fi chipset, which is great. As well as that, on the next side, we've got just another ventilation panel, which is good to see. And on the top here, it's quite a unique design, actually. They've actually painted a unique ventilation or heat dissipation design, and we've actually had this open and all the internal components are pushed up towards this top and basically their aim is to ensure that there's a good heat dissipation. So this Intel Atom chipset is the Apollo Lake processor but still it gives off quite a bit of heat especially under load and their design seems to work on the previous TV stick we had. It done a pretty damn good job. It, it was quite warm throughout operation but that didn't affect the performance. So the design was definitely working. So I'm interested to see how well this performs. And it's and it certainly makes it look quite unique. And yeah, I quite like the look of this, the actual design overall. But anyway, good connectivity on this device. And uh, on the on the bottom here, we've actually got some mount points for Visa mounts, etc. If you want to attach it to the back of your TV. And if we have a look inside, actually, like I said before, we actually looked for all the different components as well as that we've got the ability to connect a hard drive or an SSD drive to expand your internal storage. Obviously, we've only got 32 gigabytes in this, but if we want to connect a hard drive to the SATA port, we can do. Anyway, let's turn this on now. Let's see what this box can do.
So what I really want to stress to you guys at home is that this box is not aimed at replacing your home computer. Maybe you've got a laptop or something like that and you use it for work, maybe even video editing, Photoshop and stuff like that. You know, heavy tasks that you need a decent computer for. This really isn't aimed at that, although it should handle Photoshop just fine. It shouldn't handle video editing too well. Although I have tried video editing on previous boxes that we've looked at and it's done a half decent job. But really, this is more of a media center. And if you're after a TV box, like an Android box or something like that to watch, maybe Netflix, YouTube, and generally just have a media center to maybe run Kodi and you know, those sort of apps, then this is kind of an upgrade, a big upgrade, and it should provide a hell of a better experience than any Android box that's on the market today, bar maybe the NVIDIA Shield, for example. So just a few more things to do before we can actually get into this device. <laughs> As usual, Microsoft wants to know everything about you. So if you're new to Windows 10, I'd just decline everything and keep it as basic as possible. There's a few tutorials online to ensure that Microsoft don't, you know, harvest your data and you can turn certain settings off. But yeah, that's a big drawback to using Windows 10. But anyway, you know, it's loaded up now. So let's get on with the review. So here we are and it's just, you know, basic Windows 10 desktop. So the problem with that is we're going to be sat back on our sofa wanting to use this and everything's just maybe a little bit too small. So what I do is just go into display and just make things a bit bigger. I'd probably expand it to 150% and as you can see everything just looks a bit more clearer especially when you sat back on your sofa trying to click all the little individual icons etc. So just before we move on, just one last point. When you first turn this device on, a crap ton of updates are going to come through. Windows 10 security updates, as well as app updates, and a whole load of different things are just going to try and update all at once. And it's probably going to slow down the system. And it's probably going to uh, uh, give a bad impression, I think, maybe, initially. But yeah, just bear with it. Just leave it alone. Just let it do its thing, and then come back to it, and everything should be fine. So I think that pretty much concludes this video. I think Azurtech have done a pretty decent job at this. It is a media center at the end of the day, but it is a big step up from say an Android TV box. It will handle your films, YouTube, simple browsing, as well as that you should get some gaming out of it, some very basic gaming of course. It's really not a high-end PC or anything like that. But as well as that, it's Azotech seem to provide pretty decent customer service. So you should be looked after by them and you do get a year's warranty on this product. And they are a company from the USA, which is great to see. Florida, Miami, I believe it is. Anyway, if you want to check them out, their links in the description. They've also made it available to you guys to buy from Amazon if you're not confident buying from their website, which is always good. So thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we shall see you very soon. Thank <laughs> you.